guys welcome back to my channel my name is laura for those of you who are new if you are new welcome and if you're not new welcome back so today i wanted to film a little celebrity lookbook kind of video when i'm on pinterest i'm literally always searching up like celebrity street style or like off-duty model kind of style and i think it's like so popular when you really look at it like it's it's really easy to recreate, especially with what you have in your closet, because even though you don't have that $500 jean jacket, you have the $40 jean jacket, and they pretty much look the same. So I put together a couple looks, just with like a variety of celebrities. I think of Kaya Gerber, Hailey Bieber, Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, Madison Beer, all that good stuff, and just some of their looks, and how, and things I have that are just, you can do them for less. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first look I'm gonna talk about is Kaya Gerber. So I've actually done this a couple times and it's just like so classic, so easy to recreate. So she's wearing blue jeans, a blazer, a black shirt, and a hat. So for me to recreate that, I used my blue Levi's 501 jeans. Super simple, a blue jean is such a staple, so you might have that in your wardrobe. Then my blazer is just my leather blazer from Zara. It is the oversized one. I got it this season. It is amazing. I literally wear it in every outfit and I have a lot of pictures of it on Instagram. And then for the t-shirt, I just chose this Nasty Gal t-shirt. It has pads on the shoulders. So it has a little bit of volume over here. And it's in between like a t-shirt and a tank top because it doesn't go straight before the shoulder or after. So it's kind of in between but this is probably the most classy black t-shirt I had. And then just a black baseball cap from Golden. I think she's wearing a Yankees one, but it's a hat is a hat, so whatever you have will work. But overall, this is just such a simple outfit because it's literally just a shirt, jeans, and layering, which she does with the blazer. So super, super simple. You can also change up the colors if you wanna wear gray jeans or something some other color jeans and literally a blazer will match with whatever you choose to wear. Okay, so I'm not gonna pick the blazer up again, but the next look also does include a blazer. It is a classic Hailey Bieber fit. So she's again wearing blue jeans. I'm just gonna use my Levi's again because these are my favorite pair of like plain blue jeans. They're just like, they're not like a skinny jean, but they're not like a complete boyfriend. They're just the 501 skinny like they fit really well at the thigh and then flare a little bit at the ankle. I did cut them and I regret that, but that's besides the point. And then she's just wearing a little white crop shirt. So I just decided to pair with my white Babaton Arjun knit top, bin, not bandeau, tube top. This is really nice. It cost me for about five years. I have it in three different styles. It's just the rib feels so nice. It's thick. It really won't go anywhere, especially if you get the right size. And of course, paired it with a mask because COVID and wear your mask and don't be stupid and she's wearing a mask. So you like Hailey Bieber in that sense. Perfect. Okay, I'm only gonna use these jeans one more time, I promise. But this is a classic Gigi Hadid look and she rocks the Canadian tux in this. So I recently got this um, denim jacket from Zara. I don't have the exact same shade of jeans, so this will do, but pretend they do match. She, her iconic look in this is just the pop of red. Normally I wouldn't wear this because one, I'm not the huge, the biggest fan of red, and two, I just don't think it looks that amazing with denim, but I'm willing to try it. So she wears a red tank top and I'm just gonna pair with a red bodysuit I happen to have and it's from Ritzia, I believe it is Sunday Best. It's extra small. It's actually a really, really stretchy and nice material. I think it's nylon, it doesn't go anywhere. This jacket, I wanted the oversized look, which I got, it's a size large. And again, I'm not even gonna mention these jeans again, but simple denim jacket, jeans, red, whatever you wanna wear with this Canadian tux is better because White and black, I would choose probably white just because it complements like the light shade of denim. But Gigi Hadid here likes the red, likes the red lip, which I don't have, and this is just perfect. So next we have the stunning Emma Chamberlain 
in one of her more iconic outfits, I would say. She wears cow pants, a black shirt, and a white cover up. I actually happen to have a lot of similar things. I just recently got these cowhide baby boot jeans from Shop We Wore What. So these will go nicely with this outfit. And I have my ribbed cropped tank top from Aritzia. This is just such a staple, a classic, because it goes with literally everything because it's black. They have it in a bunch of colors, which obviously comes in handy. So that is just a must have. And then this utility blouse also from Aritzia. I love to wear this with literally everything. It looks so good when you just throw it on. I wear it with sweats, jeans, pretty much everything. And this is just a cute look here because it's kind of hard for me to style these cow pants because unless it's wear with black or white, I kind of stray away from it because the cow pants are already like very out there and I don't want to take focus away from the pants. But of course, Miss Emma did a good job styling us and this is an easy way to create it. Also, if you don't have cow pants, you can pretty much use any like um, pair of pants you have because the cover up and the shirt just like looks good. Or if you want that pop of color, if you have those pants, throw it with the black and white because it will match. Okay, now on the topic of we were what, I recreated her Met outfit. She went to the Met and posted an Instagram in it and wore a button up, um, a black bandeau tube top, tank top kind of thing over it. And she didn't wear pants cause her button down was long, but mine is not. So I just styled it with these leather shorts from Zara. They're kind of have a baggy fit. And this button down is I believe from Sears. And the tank top I threw over it is just a cropped tank top from Nasty Girl. This is a size two. Um, I've really stretched it out, so it doesn't really fit me that much anymore without something under it because the straps are so long. But something so, so simple, throwing stuff over a button up, just you can't go wrong. Like it's so fashion to me. I'm not sure, but just something so, so cute. This is very Parisian, if you ask me. Okay, so next, I was scrolling through Pinterest and looking at like celebrity street style and I've actually posted this on my Instagram already and I'll insert the picture here but um, there's an influencer, her name is Reina and she wore um, a button down, a sweater vest and kind of like a yoga pants slash leggings and I don't know what it was but I really really liked it. So I do have a sweater vest, but I chose not to wear it just because I didn't really love the color. So this is a shirt I have from Boohoo. I got it last year. It has that asymmetrical look. It is a size small. So it is not two pieces, it's one. So obviously where you see cotton on the inside, it's also cotton. So it like mimics a sweater vest over a button down. And then where you see um, the button down is the button down. And it's that kind of material. I love this. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe just that it's asymmetrical, one piece, don't have to worry about two, but really mimics that sweater vest over anything. And it looks so, so, so cute with just a plain pair of pants in which here I have my new Zara high rise leggings, which are literally the best. I've never found such a nice fitting pair of pants before. They are just very long. I got the shorter version and I'm 5'4 and I still need to get them hemmed. I keep meaning to do that. And these are an extra small. So this look is just something so cute, so simple. And if you don't have this exactly, sweater vest button down and literally just black pants. Okay, so next, this is more of a summer look, but I really liked it. So Madison Beer here wears an all white kind of outfit. She has a white tank top, white jeans, and a white cover up. So the tank top I'm using is from Aritzia. It's TNA, extra small. Honestly, you can get them on Amazon like pretty much anywhere. This was just cheap at the time I think it was on sale and it's just like kind of a tank top, nothing special about it. Um, these jeans are just, uh, I think a pair of boyfriend jeans from Zara, I got them a couple years ago. Size two fit really nicely actually, really nice in the waist and then the legs are kind of like wide and comfortable, perfect. And then I threw on my utility blouse from Maritzia. Size extra small, fits nice, fits large, whatever but these aren't the exact same shades of white, but I think they do complement each other just cause you know, they match, they work. The point of the outfit isn't supposed to be everything exactly the same shade, but just the same tones. Looks really, really cute and pretty much any white pants, white shirt and white cover up, throw it together and 
it should look okay. Okay, and lastly, I have a look from Iconic Kendall Jenner. This isn't one of her more iconic looks, but I went for comfort and just things that I think are easy to recreate. So here she's just wearing a pair of leggings and a black sweater and obviously those sunnies. And again, if you have a black sweater, black yoga pants, black leggings, black suit pants, whatever, this is literally so easy to recreate. Whether you're literally going out for coffee, staying at home, I don't know. But when I see an outfit like on a model or a celebrity, like it just makes me like it more. So that is what I paired together here. This hoodie is extremely old from Garage, extra small. I should be looking for an old one because this isn't it for me anymore. It's too small. And these yoga pants, not yoga pants. Um, I mean, I don't really know what to call these. They're silk pants. They have like a, a nice striped waist, stretchy as well. They're Little Moon. They don't even sell them anymore. I literally got them on Boxing Day. I think I fished them out at the bottom of the floor and they have fake pockets. I mean, I've actually never worn these. And yeah, so, but they're kind of nice if you just throw something over the band, so, cause it matches, but you can pretty much, I'm looking to eventually style these with like heels and then wrap the, the strap around the bottom cause they are a bootleg kind of pant. They're very wide and that's fine. And then Sunny's from Every Jewels, the hot A of sunglasses that I featured in on the ad. Okay, so those are about eight looks that I showed you, just my favorite, and in my opinion, easier looks to recreate from celebrities, street style, all that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, Pinterest is your best friend when it comes to finding like dupes of what celebrities wear and models and just super easy to recreate, and especially in my opinion, when I'm shopping, like I like to shop for like staples and basics that I know I'll be able to style easier than like one statement piece that I'll probably wear once but other than that i hope you guys like this video if you did i would love if you could follow me on instagram because i do post a lot of these looks it's at lauren Branchman. and yeah i would also love if you could subscribe really appreciate that but without further ado thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time